Hey what's up guys, back again with another video in the C++ series. This time I'm going to show you about the different floating point numbers. She said, ooh you nasty. I said, yeah I know. I'm just looking for some baddies. I can fly across the coast. I used to never boast. But I figured, hey I'm young. I'ma always stay humble. I'm just trying to have some fun. It's Captain Black Sparrow. Got them girls coming through. I put their... Alright guys, I'm back. So what I'm going to do is show you how to use the different variables for floating point numbers, which are basically just numbers with decimals inside of them, right? So before, you know, we worked with the different variables, like the integers and the, the whole number of variables. So integer, um, double, stuff like that, right? Long, uh, oh, not double, excuse me. Was, uh, integer, long, uh, I don't even remember, bro. But anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, so the, there's three of them. There's the float, there's the double, and there's the long double. And those are the different floating point values that allow you to have a certain level of precision. And I'll, I'll show you. So let's, let's just go ahead and make one. So the first one is going to be float. So to make a float, you just do float, and then now we need to give it a name. So we'll call it floating number. Uh, oops, floating number like that. And then after that, we can assign a value. All right. So if we want to, we could do a whole number, I believe. Yeah, that still works. But since it's a floating number or a floating point number variable, let's go ahead and give it a decimal. So we'll say 5.52. That's going to be our number. So let's go ahead and print that out. So see uh, out floating number in line. There we go. So let's print that out and see what we get. So we get five point. Oops. So we get five point five two, which is exactly what we told it to do. And so let's try adding some more numbers. Let's see how far we can go. Okay. So let's rerun this. See what happens. All right. So we go to about five point five two one three one. So that is basically the limit for how many. Um, let's see how many is that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So about six. Um, digits here so that's basically the limit for how many digits you can use for a floating number and so that's going to be about four bits for the floating number but we can use a bigger one called double and the double is um, it allows more precision meaning you have more digits within your floating point number your decimal number okay because of course when you're working with uh, decimal numbers the more digits on the end of the decimal that means that it's more precise right so let's try doing that so double double number is equal to one point whatever we we'll just make up a number here like that and let's see if that works okay so we're going to output that to the console so double number in line just like that so let's run that and see what we get so this time we get 1.52521 and it's still limited to a certain amount but that's because we need to set the precision for it meaning that it's going to limit how many it shows but it, it should be able to go farther so let's try testing it out okay so we can use a tool here called um, I uh, input output manipulation so we're going to do include IO manip, so that stands for input output manipulation, and it allows something pretty cool. We can set the precision of our double numbers when we're outputting them. So we could do uh, set precision, and then we could choose how many digits we wanted the precision to be. So that's basically going to say it's going to tell it how many digits to output whenever we output the the um, decimal number. Okay, so let's try doing 20. So that means it's going to output 20 digits no matter what. Okay, so we're going to close the old one and try printing this out. See what we get. So this time, as you can see here, we get 20 uh, digits, even though um, some of them are not being shown. So let's see where it stops. So 1.52521457114567. 1, 1, 1, 1. And then it adds three, four more on the end because, of course, it has to get to 20. No matter what, this has to be 20. So it's pretty precise. It went up to here without any problems. And you'll know when it's not precise anymore when it starts making up numbers because that, are, that, that means that that's the limit for that number. So, for example... Let's go ahead and set the precision for our floating number, or our float variable, and we can see that it's going to stop at a certain amount, okay? Because it, obviously the, the float is not precise enough to go to 20 digits like the double, okay? So let's see what happens. So if you look here, we can see that it stops at um, about right here. So right, it would be like right here it stops at, okay? So that's the limit for a floating number, or a float. They're all floating numbers, but this is specifically called a float. So that's the limit for a float. It stops about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven digits, seven or eight digits in. And then and then after that, it's just going to start making up digits just to fill in the precision, okay? Because it has to be 20 digits, remember, because we set the precision. But that's basically showing you how precise these numbers are, okay? The floating is not very precise. I mean, it's still precise, but it's not very precise. And then the double is more precise because it offers more digits. And then finally, we're going to have one more, and that's going to be called the long double. So it's a long double, meaning it's a lot of digits. So let's try testing it out. So we'll call it a uh, long double like this. And then let's just make up a bunch of numbers and see if we can print that out. So see out, we're going to set the precision to 50 just so we can make sure. OK, 
Okay, and then we're gonna output that to the console. So we're gonna do, oops, I spelled double wrong, as you can see there. So long double, and we'll inline just like that. Okay, so let's print that out and see what we get. So as you can see here, we got about 50 digits because we set the precision to 50, so it has to print out 50. But let's see where it stops. So we get all the way to one, two, four, one. Let's look for that on here. One, two, four, one. Yeah, it's hard to tell because I'm using a lot of the same numbers, so it's hard to tell where it stops exactly. But it's pretty precise. It's way more precise than the other numbers. So let's try doing something here. We'll put 999 so we can look for that specifically. Oops. Let's get rid of that. Okay. And let's see here. 999. Is it here? No? Okay. So maybe it's not as precise. But anyway, you get the point. It's pretty precise. The long double is going to have more digits available because it's more precise. And then the, the double is going to be even more precise than the float. But each one, it gets more and more precise because it has more... Uh, bits available. This one's gonna be four bits. I believe this one's 16 bits. This one's probably eight But yeah, more uh, digits available. Okay, so that's how you use the different decimal numbers within um, C++, but if you have any questions about this, I'll be glad to help you I'll also leave a link in the description for you if you want to read more about this in case you're interested in more um, So that's pretty much it if you have any questions you can ask a question in the comment section below I'll be glad to help you also we have a discord in the description So I'll leave the link there for you So click on the discord link join our discord and hang out with us and ask questions if you need questions or need help because we have about 100 people in there, more than 100, so they can all help you if you need help, probably, okay? So, yeah, if you like this video, leave a like. If you need to see more, subscribe, and peace.